Hello there YouTube, another video from the farm here on the solar shed. So today I'm upgrading this cheap little inverter to this one, as well as installing a lighting system. Now as you can see the Amazon Prime order's arrived, all the bits are here. I've gone for this one because it's cheap and cheerful, my friend's got it in his little off-grid workshop and uh, works great. As you can see, thrown on a little LED light straight away to uh, this little switch over here just to get me going, just some light for now. And I've got to clip all this on properly and then add the rest of these lights on for the roof. As you can see, they're all little uh, terminal clips that go on here. Got a box, box of them here. Plenty of different ones. The right ones are in there. And then I've just got some speaker wire for the uh, lighting cable. As it's a bit longer than this stuff and a li little bit thicker. As you can see, a little bit thicker. Right, let's start installing something. Invert is easy to put on. Literally, get it in the right place. Put a screw or a bolt into uh, these little slots on the end. That's it fixed. Next, add on the terminal cables, which are connected to the battery. You can see when I took them off the other one. Just wrapped them in a bit of tape to stop them touching. Right, let's whack those on. Now even your cheap inverters will come with the right bits to hook on your battery cables. As you can see, these ones come with a bolt and a sort of a locking washer on there. So right, let's hook those on. <laughs> so Got them hooked on now, just putting the last safety cover on. Got it all plugged in. Switches on nicely. As you can see, this one is silent compared to the cheap Chinese model with like three computer fans in it to even attempt to run 500 watts. This thing, silent. I'm sure it'll uh, vibrate and heat up a little bit though once you put a lot of load through it. As you can see, on. All working. Right, next bit. Next I'm hooking on this type of terminal connector and these little connectors here to wire all the lights, these bits of cable and this long main speaker wire to get them up, up in the roof there. Wire those up to the switch here and replace all this with the correct terminal so it's all nice and secure. So, that's it, we have LED lights and switches in play, all terminal done, all connected up nicely, happy days, inverters on, working, charging stuff, upgrade complete, till next time.